DevOps is about communication and sharing, collaboration and accountability. The same can be said for parenting. Our parenting journey began in December 2013 when we started the process to become licensed foster parents. October 2014, a six-year-old boy was placed with us and 10 months later his adoption was finalized. Parenting is difficult. There are different philosophies and practices that everybody argues over what's the right way to parent. I focus on the three ways, flow, feedback, and continuous experimentation and learning. <laughs> flow, information flows from the parents to the child. He gets what he needs, when he needs it, how he needs it. Yeah, right, this isn't the way it works, at least in our house. If my son had it his way, this would be the flow of information. He can't wait until he's old enough and is the boss and doesn't have to listen to anybody and can tell everybody else what to do. That's not reality either. In reality, we have to work together. We have to learn, we have to talk, we have to communicate. Get regular feedback to understand what's working and what's not working. One way that we do this is we hold retrospectives and postmortems with our son. <laughs> <laughs> to, to avoid the dreaded answer to, how is your school day, we ask, tell me one thing you learned today. If you could do one thing differently, what would that have been? Through this, we learn what makes him tick. We've learned if we don't feed him all the time, he becomes a hangry monster. <laughs> and not just any snack will do. It has to be very high in protein. My son is probably going to be a natural vegetarian. Automation is excellent. We figure out a way to automate certain parenting tasks. You can only answer the same question over and over again and not lose your mind. Alexa is our new best friend. <laughs> time to brush your teeth. Alexa, set a timer for two and a half minutes. I no longer have to tell him when two minutes is up and he's done brushing his teeth. But set parental controls so that your son doesn't actually purchase beer glasses. Kaizen is the principle of continuous improvement. Small incremental changes over time, measure them, can yield huge success. Nothing happens overnight, not even sleep. Our son has a very difficult time sleeping through the night. He was coming in and waking me up three, four times a week. That's not good. We set a new rule in place. You can come, sleep on the floor of our room over here. Don't wake me up. Don't wake the dog up. That was a success. We then moved on to step two. You need to sleep in your own room two nights a week. We had, and then slowly increment. We had gotten up to five nights a week. Then we had a setback. I'm happy to say that after 14 days sleeping in our room, last night he slept in his room for the first time. Sometimes you have to make a massive change. Small changes aren't gonna work. We like to call this the nuclear option. <laughs> last year, school was really, really difficult. It was dreadful, like wondering what he was gonna come home like each day. Over the summer, we made a radical change. We enrolled our son in a private Montessori school. This year is so much better. We're sleeping, it's great. We have to call audibles. We know what we're capable of and when we have to change. I am the parent that has left a shopping cart full of groceries in the store due to an epic temper tantrum. I learned go sh grocery shopping alone after that. But don't do everything alone. Share your experiences, find a group of parents, Find people that understand what you're going through and are willing to share your stories and commiserate with you. A lot of times, we don't want to share. We're afraid that we'll be seen as a failure, as a person, or as a parent. You're not a failure. The chances are the mistakes you've made have been made by others as well. Don't worry about breaking things. 
kids are so incredibly resilient. My son did come to us a little bit broken. In the last two and a half years, he's made tremendous progress. We know there's a long road ahead of us, but through practice and following DevOps principles, looking at what we value, knowing that this is a cycle of continuous improvement and collaboration, we're making progress and we're going on this journey together. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.